Hey guys, welcome back for some more Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. I'm Joe if you're new around here. Make sure you do subscribe for regular golf content. In today's episode, we continue our PGA Tour career mode uh, with the Phoenix Open. After winning the opening two tournaments of the season, are we going to be brought back down to earth around TPC Scottsdale? Well, let's go and find out. Thank you for all the incredible support on the series so far. You guys seem to be really enjoying um, the golf content, which is fantastic. I'm I'm enjoying playing the game as well, and uh, and hopefully we can uh, get some good results. And uh, you guys continue to enjoy it. It's a very chill game to play. It's going to be on a Monday and a Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, where FM used to be, but um, you know, I'm sure you guys don't care about that. Presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Welcome to the stadium course, TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. It's a masterful blend of challenge and playability designed by the team of Tom Weisskopf and Jay Morish. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello for EA Sports. The changes, Rich, they made in 2014 have just added a luster to this great venue that uh, hosts the PGA Tour event each and every year. And it's a great test for any level of play. So five under for Eric Compton. Rory McIlroy's up there as well. So yeah, here, here we go. We just made the turn. Let's go out to number 10, see what's happening. Nothing noteworthy here in the first round, Frank, but still plenty of golf to be played. That's right, Rich. A little bit of a dry spell, but really not a lot of damage done. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. Good swing, good shot yet again. Oh, so for that, that wasn't too bad. In regulation. Even par, currently. So, push it on just a little bit, a little bit of break to the right. Oh, not even that much. Wow. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Brilliant. Well, not in contention, but in for par. So just a par there, and as I say, we're not really in contention at the moment, but uh, that could very easily change. the only one, Rich, because this is an absolute scorecard wrecker. Water all the way down the left side. There's two bunkers. Don't worry about that. They're not off the tee. They're around the green. They protect the left front and the back. If you think you can bail out down the right side, well, you could find cactus and all sorts of crazy things down the right. And believe me, go down there, more than anything, they'll wreck your scorecard as well. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. This is pretty, pretty good. Shot, yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. 14 feet to the hole. Quite a bit of break this time. Nope. That was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Another par on the scorecard. And that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Well, Frank, this right then. Gotten par three on the back nine here at TPC Scottsdale. All of that attention on hole number 16. What do you think of the par three 12? This is by far tougher, Rich. Uh, downhill tee shot, especially off that back tee. Bunkering down the left, sort of t it, it, it catches your eye, but it also takes your eye off the water, which is behind and to the right of this green. Got to be careful. This is a real sleeper, this par three. Get in. First birdie of the day. Nice put there. Now making a move and setting himself up for who knows a good weekend run, maybe at another title. 
the former college standout has been excellent today. What a great shot. Well, happy with the opening drive, 300 yards. Always nice. Full treatment, perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Just got to be a little bit careful here. That one is bunker bound. Wow, like. that was terrible. That one is in the bunker. In the green side bunker, Frank, little bit of a problem. Probably just flop it up here. I think that's probably the, the best chance we've got. That's pretty good. That's very good. Right there. Well, it looks so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. So they'll tap in. Now at two under par for the tournament. At the 14th now, it's a par four. And a dog leg left once again. The bunker on the left side's been pushed out to the fairway to really make you think whether or not you can carry that. It's a lengthy second shot because it's going to play a little bit uphill. And this green is oh not dear. protected on the left side with the two Dear bunkers. me. The draw, I don't know what's, what's happened there. I've never had to do that with the uh, club before. So it went completely left, unfortunately. Uh, but I have changed the, the swing mechanics um, a little bit just to try and increase the difficulty. Uh, that little bit more. That's going to be on the path, so the isn't it? The par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Oh, sit, no, sit. I think he flushed uh, this, is, this is going, going, gone. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Well, this could be a double bogey here. Well, this is how you build a good round, Frank. You just keep hitting greens. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Nope. <laughs> That's all that hard work. work. Look good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. Tough hole has this now for double bogey. So with that, the score is now at even par. Well, great score. Got one hole here. left. It's a par five, fifteenth. But Frank, I'm wondering, as a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that par three, sixteenth hole? Oh, they are. This, this is really the uh, finishing stretch at TPC uh, Scottsdale, where you get all these swing holes. Fifteen is a swing hole. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, where so many changes in the score can actually happen. But this one here is all about finding the fairway. A good drive down here will be well rewarded because you'll have a chance to reach this par five and two. Maybe wet. Come on. No. Back on dry land here. Uh, as long as this one avoids it. So the previous shot into the drink. This now the fourth shot. Well. Frank, this is one you don't practice, but sometimes you have to do it. Time for the drop. Yeah, it should be the easiest shot in golf. <laughs> You've just paid for it. Right. Here we go with the flop once again. Again, that's Great pretty decent. That right there. Showing some skills today. So, I must put... And we have done very, very good indeed. And, with that par, moving and there we have it. On the leaderboard. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. So not the worst session in the world. You know, we've come out of it with um, still even par. Obviously a double bogey there. Uh, setting us back a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, uh, it'll be fine. Be absolutely fine. 
uh, and we'll just try our best to to move on in the next round and uh, and, and make up those shots. That's the, the the plan anyway in round two, and uh, obviously just as long as we make the cut, we'll be quite happy here. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Here at the TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, and Frank, when so many people tune in to watch this great event, they think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there, but it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything, birdie opportunities, holes that are fought by water, bunkering that's being changed. All in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people that visit this during the tournament week. Oh my word, come on. It's not bad. The cut line is uh, even though, luckily we have started the round um, one up, or one under I guess. It's got to be close. Ooh. It looked like it was certainly going in. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, and you keep things steady. Ready to tee off now at the six. This is a dogleg left. And another hole that's being stiffened by bunkers on both the left and the right side, uh, really giving you the decision on what club to hit. Should you be bold, or should you be smart? And now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice That's is terrible. And this is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Well, that's what separates the good players from the great players. The ability to get it that close from that kind of lie. Not bad. Eddie Just having to keep our round together here. Under pressure. Frank, where's the difficulty here on the seventh hole, the par three of more than 200 yards? Well, Rich, uh, front hole locations are always uh, probably the toughest here because that's the narrowest part of the green. Bunkering really hasn't changed, um, and the green still does widen up. But the hole tends to play slightly uphill. Not the worst. And generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. Could be. There. Almost went in. Uh, at least he's seen the line as it went past the hole. So just replicate that on the way back. Well, you've got to say He's made it. We've held it together well here, but definitely need to make up a few shots. Dog leg to the left, Frank. And this dog leg's made more severe now by the addition of two bunkers. Uh, this was a bunkerless hole off the tee in years gone by but those two bunkers certainly make this a sharper dog leg and because it forces the player to go down the right side adds length to the already long 475 yards second shot good look at the green no well, he'll be disappointed with that no doubt the swing didn't quite look right on that one. Chance to get it close here. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. Really not much to this. <laughs> the only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Get in. Wow. Well, on to the last hole and our last chance to really make headway. Last chance to secure our Here place. Our 
tenth hole. Frank, what's the strategy off the tee? Well, there's one bunker down the uh, right side that you have to be very wary of. 325 yards to carry that, so it's very much in play, and just over 290 to reach it. Ideally, you have to go left of that, that down the left side. But uh, really, this is a second shot hole because this green is not very deep. 130 yards out. Frank, it's not just a golf tournament at the TPC Scottsdale. It's a party. It's a giant throwdown, isn't it? it? It certainly is, but the atmosphere works here. It just fits in. The players are aware of it. They're quite fine to play amongst it, too, because it's just it's such a rare event. And to be honest, a lot of the fans, and there were almost 180,000 on Saturday alone in 2013, a lot of the fans, they don't see a single golf shot. They're too busy having a good time, having a party. Well, another par, and we just have to hope that RAI manages to hold it together. We saw. Yeah, the modifications to TPC Scottsdale is uh, it presents better to the eye. It's certainly a better test for the player, and and on top of that, it is a good reward when one plays well. Really enjoyed it for my. Yeah, and we may go another shot, so we. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now, from TPC Scottsdale. So we make the cut, which is great. Uh, ten shots off the lead, though. I don't think we're going to be winning this tournament, guys. Uh, just, just a bit of a hunch. But uh, you know, you, you never know with these things. If we uh, do well on this third round here, maybe make up four or five shots, um, then you never know on the Sunday what can happen. But uh, the, a bit more back down to earth in this episode, but some good golf nonetheless. Simply put, there is nothing like it in the game of golf. It is by far the biggest spectator event in the sport. We're at TPC Scottsdale in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Nabilo. And Frank, what can you tell us about this golf course? Well, everybody wants to know about 16, the famed par three here, surrounded by those sky boxes. Uh, once again, that'll be a topic of the day. But really, this is a regular site for the PGA Tour. So those of you that were familiar with the golf course, it's now changed. 2014, the designers Morris and Weisskopf did a massive renovation. Well over 100,000 fans every day, better than a half a million for the week. It's a giant party mixed in with a heck of a tournament. Well, I tell you what, what a start this is. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That's for Eagle. It's there. Come on. Something happens that's good. That's a nice shot right there. Into the top 25 now. Par 4, 14th, and Frank, this hole packs a little punch, doesn't it? Yeah, the addition of just a, a little bit more yardage, plus the bunker on the left has been pushed out into the fairway, it actually makes the hole play a little bit longer than its 490 yards. Second shot is a little bit uphill. No longer is there a bunker on the right side. That side of the green is actually open. You don't really want to be trying to miss that green on the right. Should you decide to go at the flag, you're going to have to carry that front bunker. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. It's okay. He's not gonna Settle for him, that. But not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Pretty good. A cruel game at times. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a par, and let's forget about this one. And golf is not about perfect. But been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho hum pars. Now at the par five, fifteenth, and Frank, there is plenty to catch your eye. There's also quite a bit to catch your ear. You can hear the roars at the par three, sixteenth. So how do you focus on the task at hand? Great question, Rich. You know, you, you realize you're about to enter the stadium part of the golf course, but this is the last par five that you're going to play. We've seen eagles here over the years. We've seen many a player hit it in the water off the tee or water short of the green. Certainly one of the tougher tee shots coming in. No bunkers here to worry about, just that huge lake to the left. Find the fairway. 
you might just find the green. Frank, I think that's going in the bunker. Looks like it. I don't think so. Somehow that it's a chance for eagle. Bunker, Frank. Yeah, that looked like it was sand for sure. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Once again, not too much break here. And it's there! Come on! Six under for the tournament. Well, that's four shots made up in the first three holes. The 16th hole, what it is today, would have to be Tiger's ace in 1997 here at the TPC Scottsdale when it was raining plastic cups. It was also his reaction, too, and that ushered in the, the Tiger Woods era that we became associated with, which is the fist pumping. The Rorty Spectator oh is one of the few players that bridged the gap between Spectator and golf course. And uh, and it still goes on till today. And, and I think Rory McIlroy probably is the only other player that starts to broach that type of inside and outside atmosphere with golf. Still to this day, it's the loudest single moment that I can ever remember hearing on a golf course. Frank, that reminds you of maybe what, the greatest bunker player of all time? Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Oh! Those are painful from that distance. Yeah, just another one added to the card. Big mistake. Well, not going to make par here. He needs this to only give up one. So a drop shot. Never mind. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole in one at 16, but really 17. And the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong. But Rich had needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram, whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel. Tom Byron was just minding his own business, standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter, and you know what happened. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byron's putter and then careened into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. On the green, and a chance for birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. It's there. So we've made up that shot that we lost on the 16th. One gets him in the top 10. Rich, 18 was always considered a long finishing hole. Not for J.B. Holmes. Yeah, the water was always in play. And then the day he took it over the left side and carried everything and went on to win, that completely changed the way this golf course played ever since that day. And it resulted in some of the changes we're seeing now. Yeah, um, evidence the new bunkering down the left side. But it also, it showed us all how much and how strong these guys are. How much they've improved over the years. Mm, we're going to go a couple of extra clubs here. Oh, that's left. That's left. Unlucky there. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. Wasn't that hard a shot. Flop it in again. So. Remember, there's a little bit of wind here, so I'm going to just try and go past the flag. That's not so too bad. Green in regulation, but he still has a reasonably good chance to save his par about 10 feet away. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. It's there. And that par means that we have our four under round. Just like that. And you never ever know going into tomorrow. Let's see what the final standings are going to be after the rest of the golf has finished their round. A chance to win. What's that feeling like? Oh, this is the fun part. Uh, knowing whether or not your body can handle the situation. Um, you've got to push it to the limit. But that's what sport and golf is all about. Trying to do something that you've dreamed of for so long. Well, seven shots off, uh, Kopka and uh, Matt Jones there as well. Uh, I think he was on 11 under. So, seven shots to make up in the final round and hope that they don't make any shot. It's going to be tough, but 
you know, we'll try our best. Eat how far. Really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular golf content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.